Marsha Weber, and this is my gallery. These horses are by Ray Blue, and this is Sasquatch. Let's go inside. My gallery has 1,200 one-of-a-kind works, all by self-taught artists. These are artists that have not had academic training, and sometimes people call it folk art, sometimes people call it outsider art, but it's under this self-taught umbrella. And all of these works in this gallery are available for sale. I hope someone might check out our website. The URL is in our description, and it's MarshaWeberArtObjects.com. Today, I want to show you a little bit about the gallery, about where this art lives, and I appreciate your being here. Thank you. Mose Tolliver. Sarah Rikes. Woody Long, Purvis Young, Jimmy Lee Suddeth, Michael Banks, Sarah Rakes, and Michael Banks, Hope Atkinson, by Lonnie Holly. I got this from Lonnie many years ago, back in 1992, right after I first started my gallery. And it spent a number of years in a Georgia collection, is now back. Ray Ballou, Flight. And right by the door, so fortunate to have this terrific diorama by Howard Finster. Howard Finster is one of the forefathers leading this field of self-taught art. And this is a very rare piece. It's using mirror in the background and there's several layers of plexiglass. This is quite an early work of Howard Finster's and many of these are in museums. And this is the first one my gallery has ever had in 31 years. Other works by Howard Finster. It's a Hank Williams. Howard Finster, Bull. It's a self-portrait of Howard Finster. Very rare bookend piece by Howard Finster, extremely early. terrific Jimmy Lee Suddeths. The one on bottom is a much earlier piece than the one on top. And to the right we have a fiddle by Ray Ballou. A mill by Jimmy Lee Suddeth. Two additional Jimmy Lee Suddeths. They're actually from the 90s. The one on bottom is another first car in Fayette, but much later than the one in the front room. And the top is the farmer and barn. And on the right, we have a terrific Howard Finster clock case, which is all original with the original clock. And the small sculpture on the same pedestal is by Fred Webster. And the antelope is by Don Gar from Wisconsin. The Woody around the mulberry bush. And here is a Woody Long painted on tin, jazz musicians. Another jazz musicians, Woody Long. It's called Summertime. 
And then this is Sunday night at grandma's. What he said, he, there were always people playing on the porch and he was a bluegrass banjo player himself. Above that is Bernice Sims, who's a terrific Alabama artist. She, her work appeared on a postage stamp in 1997, and she's another memory painter from Alabama. Blueberry Pickin' by Bernice Sims. Brenda Davis. Book of James Harold Jennings. He lived in three school buses up in North Carolina near Pinnacle. He was afraid of electricity, so all of these pieces were cut by hand. Here's a very, very early piece to the left, as well as this piece being very early. Most Tolliver, that's rather early, very early Mose Tolliver. It's actually hung in a different way because it was predating pop tops. Thornton Dial, Woman with Needle. Thornton Dial is a very important Alabama artist. Norman Monroe and Joe DiMaggio by Malka Zeldis, a masterpiece. A wonderful, peaceable kingdom by Malka Zeldis, where she depicts many heroes. B.F. Perkins, Benjamin Franklin Perkins. Hope Atkinson. Michael Banks. And I'd like to invite you to stay tuned. We plan to go through each artist and share a little bit about their art, show some of their art, and tell you about their life.